So, in order to produce it with something as simple as a Moog, I have the Moog I'm running through the pedal going... I normally use this pedal if you haven't noticed, a tube screen in it. has like a triangle wave distortion, uh, cascading diodes. And then, um, through that, the actual audio is coming out of a bigger mixer. But, um, it doesn't really matter. It's just, I use this one so that I have multiple channels. Uh, stereo channels. Now, um, this thing, for example, if yeah, that's a square wave of the cutoff set because it has one oscillator. But you also have a noise oscillator here. Obviously, with the cutoff set like that, it's gonna sound a little bit more like pink noise, with like that. <coughs> And uh, uh, ADSR attack the case sustain release. If you put the sustain on, it's just noise, right? I'm just gonna set the cutoff back because otherwise it's too high frequency. To about the middle. Resonance is nothing, nothing, right? But the mix is still white noise. In this particular synth, if you patch anything into external audio, whether it's guitar or anything, that would replace that noise with that sound, right? Now, if I take the voltage controlled filter out and I sh shove the resonance up, you'd still hear nothing. But right here, there's a little bit of a problem that they created. And it's literally just those last little, oh wait. It's just those last section, that last section right there. Is where it's almost taking the resonance of the filter as the filter cutoff cuts and just amplifying it exponentially crazy. And there you have a sine wave. But now, obviously, depending on the cutoff level, where the resonance is actually happening, you can't really play it on a keyboard. So, luckily, because it's a Moog, you can take the keyboard out and go into the uh, VCF cutoff so that the keyboard modulates the cutoff per volt. So now, since the filter cutoff is from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, it's basically your audio spectrum. The way synthesizers works in order to produce uh, that sound, well, that would now be something special because it's also already doing the sign. It will, um, it works with for one volt per octave. Now this is an octave, uh, up until there, that is an octave. Uh, not to this button, the button before it. That will be an octave and then it re-loops with one volt. So this is just intervals in between it. And there you have a sine wave that is playable. Now, as you can see, the only oscillators in this thing is squares, sawtooths, and the low frequency oscillators are squares and triangles. And that's how you do that. But, um, as an audio guy, I would like to obviously FM it, so I would obviously take the VCF amount, make it adjust the cutoff level via the LFO. Then what we're doing is frequency mod modulation, right? So as you're playing a note, it increases and decreases the frequency at the rate that this thing is moving at a triangle. Obviously, if you do it quicker, you can hear it a little bit better. Now, this is uh, obviously completely out of key because the moment you first have to tune it correctly. Uh, I think in the middle is actually quite right where it needs to be, but you need to tune it correctly. But the moment you start FMing, it's going to be completely out of tune, but that's something that you can work around by just playing because now obviously it's modulating that frequency so when you turn this up this thing goes to 350 hertz and when you get to that level you're hitting a point we call cross modulation that means that the frequency is already audible that you're modulating the 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 phase Oh, not the phase of the sine wave with the actual um, frequency of the sine. That frequency is audible, so you hear 
tones like that. But as you can see, even if you do tune it, it's not consistent anymore. And that's called frequency modulation synthesis. That's FM synthesis right there. And the reason why this for me is nice because FM works with sine waves very well. If you FM with any other waveform, you're gonna get a, a more distorted type of sound. It's not, it's not the same. This is that clear, that clear, you know it's FM when you hear it. Anyway.